Hey folks, this is JR with DIY Prepper. Welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be talking about different kinds of respirators, specifically N95 masks, half-phase respirators, and then gas masks. Talking about the capabilities, the strengths and weaknesses of each one, along with the different situations that you may prefer one over the other. And the first one that we're going to talk about are N95 masks, and they're the most basic form of respirator protection that you can get. They're mainly designed to remove particulates from the air. That's things like sawdust, mold, and then even smoke particles. And if you're wondering what N95 means, the N means non-oil, and the 95 means that it can remove 95% of particulates, 0.3 microns or larger in size. And of course, there's surgical variants available as well. And some advantages of these kind of masks are they are widely available. You can find them in most big box stores, most hardware stores, and they're pretty inexpensive. They might only cost a dollar, two dollars, three dollars per unit, which is far cheaper than the other respirators that we'll talk about on this list. And then some disadvantages of an N95 is that first of all, it's not really meant to remove like chemical vapors from the air. Also, it doesn't seal as well as other kinds of respirators. Half-face respirators, gas masks, and other full-face respirators, they utilize rubber, which gives a nice good seal around either your nose and mouth or your full face, whereas this is just fabric. I mean, it does okay, and it has this little nose piece that'll help you out, but I know that if I use something like this to mow with, even if I have it fitted properly and I have you know, the nose piece set up and everything. Just because I'm moving around a lot, sometimes I have to bend over, you know, sudden movement, star in the mower, things like that. Sometimes I do feel like I have, like, dust in my mouth afterwards, which means that some stuff has made it past an N95 mask. And also, they're really meant to be one-time use items. You're not really supposed to use them over and over and over again, uh, just because the material isn't really conducive to that. And since they're non-oil, you don't really want to use it around things like lubricants that may get in the air, then also some solvents and pesticides. The next level up in terms of respirator protection is going to be a half-face respirator. These are reusable and they accept different kinds of removable cartridges so that you can set it up to be most well-suited for whatever job you're doing at the time. These are P100s, and we'll talk about what that means in a second. But just for the sake of simplicity and because it's what I have, we're going to be talking about the capabilities of a respirator like this with P100s. The P means that it is oil-proof, and the 100 means that it can remove up to 99.97% of particulates, 0.3 microns or larger, and that is according to... 3M's website for these specific P100 cartridges. And something like this is a good choice if you're working around things like stains or varnishes that give off strong odors, they have strong vapors, or even if you're sanding something like lead or lead paint. The P100, it can also remove organic vapors and acid gases, so that means it's going to be able to remove things like chlorine and hydrogen chloride, and these are commonly used in industrial settings. So if you go to maybe a fabrication shop, where people are working on, you know, grinding and shaping metal, maybe they're welding, or even going to some mining operations or some construction sites. Like I imagine if somebody's doing maybe like spray foam insulation, they would use a respirator similar to this, maybe not the exact setup. I can't say that for sure because I haven't worked in that but this is good for more industrial applications. So some advantages of using a half-face respirator are going to be things like it can remove more than an N95 mask, it is reusable, and of course you can fit it with different cartridges, and it seals much better against your face because of the type of material that it's made out of. Okay, It's very hard for particles or even vapors to get in between this and your face, especially if you shave. I don't, and I probably should if I'm using something like this, but I've had much better results with this than I have those N95s. And some cons to these are, first of all, as you can tell, they don't protect your eyes, okay? They protect things from, sorry, they protect your body from things entering in through your nose and your mouth. But other than that, that's pretty much about it. 
So if, you know, there's some sort of vapor that could disturb your eyes or even if you're worried about something splashing back on you, this isn't going to do the job. And also, these can be more expensive than N95s. They're more expensive to start with. And also, you're having to get the cartridges. And these, they don't last forever. Once you open them up, they do have a shelf life on them since they are designed to remove, you know, things like chemicals and some gases. And they're also heavier than N95s. They can get hotter and it might be harder for some people to breathe in these versus an N95. And full face respirators like this, like industrial versions, they are available. But really, once you get to that level of expense, you might as well just buy a fully capable CBRN gas mask. And that brings us to the next kind of respirator that we're going to talk about, and that is gas masks, also known as air purifying respirators. And these really are the best kind of respiratory protection that you can get, short of having something that has its own air supply. So something like a scuba apparatus for underwater or what like firefighters use as they go into a building unless you have like a full system like that this is the best that you are going to do and a good gas mask like these offered by Mira Safety fitted with good filters they're going to be able to remove chemical biological nuclear radiological contaminants and I would like to thank Mira Safety for sending their CM7M mask for us to take a look at today, along with some filters. This is the CM6M. I did a, a video featuring this one a while back, and I'll be sure to put a card for that at the end of the video. And aside from being able to protect you from a wider range of contaminants, this is also going to protect your eyes since it covers your full face. So that means that it's going to give you protection from things like tear gas, also pepper spray, biological contaminants, and then also radioactive particles. And since it also seals much better than the other kinds of masks just because of the material that it is made out of. So that increases your level of protection. Both the CM7M and the CM6N, they are both rated CBRN, so that means that they're going to protect you from chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threats. And so that means that industrial chemicals, chemical weapon agents, biological threats, maybe it's something natural like a virus, or maybe it's a man-made threat, something like anthrax or plague and that that can be weaponized or even nuclear fallout now of course a mask like this won't protect you from the fireball but if you are downwind from that area and you need some respiratory protection while you're trying to get out something like this will protect you from having those alpha and beta particles enter in through your body either through your nose your mouth and it also prevent you from getting that stuff in your eyes. And this one, the CM7M, the reason why it looks different than the other one is because it has been specifically designed to be used with long guns, with optics like red dot sights or night vision. And it can also be used with like ballistic helmets and also military ear protection. What I have found is while that is better for those applications, the CM6M is more comfortable and also it is easier to fit on you so that you don't have to worry about it fogging up. Now, the CM7M isn't bad about it by, by any stretch of the imagination. It's not like fogging up your glasses with those little fabric masks. It, it's not like that at all. But the way that they are designed on the inside, I don't know if you can see this too well on camera because of the lighting. The CM6M, it's just the design of it makes it, I think, almost impossible for there to be any fog. So if you are wanting something comfortable and you're only worried about maybe using handguns, the CM6M might be a good choice. But if you're worried about more tactical applications, I would definitely go with the CM7M. The CM7M also comes with a drinking kit that you can attach to the mask 
so that you can stay hydrated without having to remove your mask if you're in a situation where you require high level breathing protection. And the CM7M is also available in three sizes, so that'll give you the best fit possible. If you're interested in this mask and you're not sure which size to get, there is information on Mira's website that can help you determine that. And it can, um, it can accept up to two of the 40 millimeter standard NATO cartridges. I only have one on there now, but a mask like this is only as good as the filters that you have on it. And Mira's NBC 77 SOF filters, they are extremely good. They can remove all known CBRN agents. So if we're aware that it's out there and it could hurt us, this is going to help protect you from it. And if properly stored and taken care of and in their original packaging, both these filters and the CM7M can be stored for up to 20 years. So some advantages to gas masks like these, they're going to give you respiratory protection from anything that you can think of pretty much. Also, they're designed to be effective even while moving. The harnesses that hold it on to your head and to your face. They're very, very good. And gas masks like these, since they were designed for military and law enforcement use, they were designed with that in mind. And of course, that involves a lot of sudden movements and things like that. So these will stay put much better than some other kinds of respirators. And they are configurable to your preferences. So what I mean by that is if you are a right-handed shooter, you can stick the filter on the left side so you can shoulder rifle, switch it if you're left-handed. And if you want to breathe easier and you're not concerned about using weapons, then you can fit the mask with two of those filters at once, and that'll help reduce the amount of resistance that you have. And then really the main disadvantages to something like this are, first of all, I mean, it's obviously expensive. I think both of these masks, they're over, I mean, $200 or so at least. And then you got to stock the filters too, which I mean, these are like 70 or 80 or, or something like that. Uh, but another thing to think about when you get a gas mask is a lot of the situations that you could reasonably expect to use one in, specifically things like chemical warfare or heaven forbid nuclear fallout, you really want to protect more than just your lungs. So if you're going to invest in a mask, it's really good to go ahead and get one of those full body protective suits as well, just because a lot of that stuff, if you don't want to breathe it in, you don't want it on your skin either because certain chemical agents, they can cause blistering. And like in the, in the case of radioactive fallout, while a suit and a mask won't protect you from like gamma radiation, it will protect you from like alpha and beta particles. And what those are, are things that when they touch your skin can, I guess, what's the word, uh, can expose you to radiation, okay? So you don't want them directly on your skin. You don't want them inside of your body. So a mask and a suit will help protect you from that. Now, some reasons why you may want a gas mask. And I realize this is kind of a specialty item. It's not something that you'll probably use all that often. Uh, so if you live in a major city or you live near a military base, something that could reasonably be considered to be either a terrorist to target, sorry, a terrorist target, or maybe a military target, it might be a good idea to have one of these. And also another thing about living in a major city is that that is going to be more likely to be a kind of a site for social unrest. And of course, it can it can happen anywhere. But if you're in a major city, I would expect it to be a larger possibility. And of course, there could be things like tear gas and things like that that you would be exposed to. Also, if you live close by to a power plant, an industrial facility, or even things like railroad tracks, ports, or other major transportation infrastructure, there are chemicals and sometimes like radioactive materials being used in those areas or passing through them. And accidents do happen. I had a situation a couple years ago where I live where there was an industrial facility that experienced an ammonia leak. And when that happened, that part of town 
was required to evacuate, and that included apartments, people's homes, and then even a park for kids to go play. So that kind of stuff, it, it does happen, and if you live near one of those things, it, it is something to think about. Also, if you live in an area that's prone to wildfires, while this particular cartridge won't get rid of, um, you know, like carbon monoxide or anything like that, it could help protect you from the dust in the air, which which is something to think about. Also, same thing for like high-rise apartments. Um, another reason would be if you're concerned about a potentially worse pandemic than what we are dealing with, than what we dealt with in the past couple of years, that could be a reason to pick one of these up. And I covered these reasons to have a gas mask and also looked more in detail at the CM6M in a video that I did a while back. And I'll be sure to put a card up here and I'll put the playlist for like defense and stuff like that. Those videos I've done for that topic over here. So y'all have a good and thanks for stopping by.